Hello everyone. I've got a video now of my. Actually, it was it's not mine at the moment, but it will be soon. As rock. Uh, forty one. G forty one C G S. I will do the testing for the motherboard, which is was faulty when I first bought it. So. Now we try to recognize the fault. What was it? So, well, after done a couple of testing, um, so I found a bit that when I screw down the down to the end, the screw down to the end, the uh, CPU fan. which it sits properly for the proper heat exchange and so I screw it down completely till it clicks which should um, hold the processor right into the socket properly so It should be right at the end. So now we try to start our PC and look what happens. So we start the PC, you can see the fans start working. So we have nothing on the display. There is no sound come up as well. Should be sound come up so the so it's feeling the processor in but something stopped the processor working which is should be the manufacturer fault actually well after a couple of research we will do this with dif dif different way and uh, I, I switch off my PC first well let's switch off now now we unscrew the fan and screw it completely so it um, will be loose that one fix so which is clicks and another one you can see it is fine so it's not tight That's it, you can see it's come off right now, so there is no, it's just staying on the screws, uh, I mean the only nuts, so we try to switch it on now, it will not heat exchange, so I will do it quickly as possible, so switch it on, start working now, but there is a picture yeah here we are so in this situation I can't say this is a fault on the socket somewhere or probably contacts in the socket haven't been properly um, welded or whatever so that's what the should be changed by the manufacturer Alright, cheers for watching, bye bye.